Hello, my name is Roger Kwa and I teach chemistry and physics here at Leeward Community College. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the concept of atmospheric pressure to kind of help you build a magic peeing buddy that you can use to okay, entertain and wow your friends and okay, uh, family. So my buddy here is actually Spongebob. So a lot of you probably know Spongebob, okay? But this Spongebob is actually kind of unique in the sense that he has a special ability to pee on command. So ready Spongebob? Okay, Spongebob, go ahead. And there he goes. Basically, he's able to actually relieve himself, okay? And when I want him to stop, he say, okay, stop, Spongebob. And he will then, of course, obey the command and stop. So how do we actually build him, okay? Well, as it turns out, you can build anybody. You don't have to build Spongebob. All you need to have is a plastic bottle of some sort that would have a nice tight seal cap on it, okay? I use the clearance to kind of see, you know, where my finger positions are to operate them. The first thing you need to do is have an adult friend, okay, or, okay, uh, your parent to help you with poking a hole or drilling a small hole at the top of the bottle near the cap area, so up here on the neck somewhere, okay? And then on the opposite side on the bottom, do the same thing. Drill a small hole there or puncture a small hole there. Don't make the hole too big, okay? Just, you can kind of play around with different sides to see how it works, but just a small hole, okay, opposite side of each other. To actually make it work, all you have to do is fill it with water, and if you fill it with water to just about below where the hole was okay, in, uh, placed, then it works pretty well. You can seal it up and place it into a bucket of water. And of course, at this point, you should have decorated your bottle with the favorite character that you would like you know, to be your buddy. And when you're ready to perform, okay, all you have to do is make sure that when you lift him up, okay, grab onto the body and use your index finger to cover up the hole that is at the top. Okay? And then gently bring him up to the surface. Now, here's the thing. Okay, make sure that you hold him there for a little bit to let any excess water kind of leak out at the beginning. Okay, so that okay, he's not peeing at the beginning. So when you lift him all the way up, he should not be okay, doing anything at down here. When you're ready to let him pee, just basically gently remove your finger from the hole in the top. Don't make it too obvious now. Okay, just gently remove the hole and then he will then be able to put on. This has to do with the fact that there's atmospheric pressure holding the water in okay, when you have this okay, covered up where air cannot go in and so it cannot help to push the water down with using atmospheric pressure. Okay? Atmospheric pressure is actually quite significant. Okay, at sea level, for example, it's about 14.7 pounds per square inch. That means that for every square inch of a surface, like your skin, for example, there's going to be like a bowling ball sitting on it, okay, up to 15 pounds per square inch. Okay? And so you can imagine now, as I bring him up here, okay, with the water trying to come up, the air is actually trying to push the water and hold it back up in there. And under normal atmospheric pressure, okay, you can actually hold a column of water that's about 10 meters or okay, about 34 feet tall. So this amount of water in there, no big, no, no big deal. It could be easy. So again, the idea is that, okay, practice doing it so it seems natural so they don't see you moving your finger, okay, to perform the peeing and then stopping afterwards. Okay. So now you have all the necessary okay, equipment and material to build what you need. So hopefully you enjoy okay, this and okay, please watch our other okay, videos as well. Okay, thank you.